One of the promising use case of all of this generative AI is to do the coding for us. Last year, it was being said that all of these Gen AI models, which specialized in coding, such as Code Llama, Code Stroll, and there are a lot of others, and especially the closed source ones, the GPT 4.0 and GPT 4, are going to make developers obsolete. Fast forward one year, and we see that still developers are as relevant as ever and all of these devin and devika and all of these software engineers they are far far from replacing any human developer i don't see that happening in the near future unless something really groundbreaking happens so that is why i have been evaluating this project micro agent for some time and i think that what it talks about it really gels what it says is that the purpose of this project is to do one thing only and do it right and that to fix the code if you have generated applications or code from llms including gpt 40 from openai you might have noticed that for any serious programming you have to do a lot of stuff on top of what llm generates you have to fix the error for example if you pass on some code or some test to the llm and if it fails in doing that it is on you to fix it even if you give it any code to troubleshoot it doesn't do full job it is almost every time a half-baked job whenever it comes to code repair and code fixing that is why this micro agent seems quite promising in this video we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works i will be using it with olava you can use this micro agent with OpenAI, with Anthropics Cloud, with Gemini, or there are a few other API endpoints you can manage. So, but for the purpose of keeping it all open source and free, I'm going to use it with Olama. If you don't know what Olama is, Olama is one of the easiest and fastest way to install large language models locally. I have done heaps of videos on it, so if you want to learn more, please search the channel. Now for the models one, if you click on this top right models and then maybe just type here code and it has a lot of coding models like DeepSeek Coder, Code Llama and then the list goes on and on. I will just use Code Stroll in it. All of them are good which I have shown above but just for the purpose of this video, video I'm going to use this Code Stroll model. Okay, so that's said and done. Before I show you how to install this micro agent and how to play around with it, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So do check them out. This is my Ubuntu VM which I'm using. And for GPU, I am using this NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. Now, first up, let me create a Conda environment and I'm going to put everything there. And I'm creating the Conda environment and activating it at the same time. The name is MicroAgent. Let's wait for it to get done. And that is all good. Let me clear the screen. I already have Olama installed and running. And as I said earlier, you should just search my channel for Olama and you should be able to find heaps of videos for Windows, Linux, Mac. Now let me clear the screen. I am going to download code stroll model. So I'm just going to do Olama pull code stroll. It is going to download the layers of this model in context form and then it is going to verify the checksum. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. It should not take too long. And the model is done the size is around 12 gig and now it is going to verify the checksum and then we should be good almost there and that is all done let me clear the screen now one of the prerequisite for this video is that you should have node and npm installed let me check if i have it node sorry my bad fingers today yep i have node let me check if i have the npm i do have npm if you don't have it please again search my channel i have done a exclusive short video as how to install node npm on local system 
let me clear the screen and now in order to install it all you need to do is to run this command npm install dash global and then builder.io micro agent so let me run it it is going to take a bit of a time to get it installed so let's wait for it to come back so micro agent is installed you can check out its version by doing micro agent dash dash version and this is a version and just to confirm olama list the olama list is this code stall latest here okay so let's clear the screen now another thing which you can do is to use their visual or interactive um, command in order to set the configuration like which model you want to use which model provider you want to use for that you can do micro dash agent and config and now it is asking you that to set open AI key i don't want that i can just type olama here and then or you can simply use your arrow key for example instead of open AI key i just want to give open AI's endpoint and then press enter here once you select it and for that you can simply use the olama's endpoint this is a default Olama's endpoint with the port 11434 and press enter and then similarly you can go with model so press enter here and for mod model I'm just going to go with code stroll that is what we have downloaded and then I think that is more than enough here so just press here on done and then exit okay let me clear the screen and now we can start using it the best way of using it is in interactive mode so simply do micro agent and press enter okay so it is saying that the current directory does not appear to be a recognized project folder so it is saying what to set up a new project you just say yeah why not let's press enter it is initializing it let's wait for it And it has created a brand new project in my local directory let me clear the screen let me sorry let me clear the screen and now let me create a file this is a small script file which i'm creating you can just create your own i'm not a node.js developer so i'm just trying to create a small file with a small test so i just created this add.js plus i'm also going to create another test file with add dot test dot js i believe this is the convention followed in node.js but so this is just testing my function that is all good so <clears throat> now you can either i believe run it like something like this node add dot js dot test okay so describe is not defined i'm not worrying about that one at the moment let's quickly check our configuration yep so json file is there our test file is there let's run this micro agent on top of it and let's see what it does so the way micro agent runs is that you just give it your program file and then you say npm test it is going to use this uh, test file on your code and see if it is correct or not if it is then it doesn't do anything otherwise it starts writing the code properly so let me run it there you go so it is running using my local model that is correct and there you go it says that there is some issues it is re rewriting it that is good now it is running the test updating the code and that is the beauty of this micro agent because normally once your code is not good llm just gives error and then hand it over to you but this one this if there is an error it uses the model again it updates the code come back test it if it is all good then fine otherwise it goes back into the loop and keep testing it okay now here all we need to do is to run it like this and we should be in good because i didn't specify more tests and this is a very very vanilla code but look at this one amazing stuff very very well done that is awesome so very impressed by this tool I think um, if you're a Node.js or TypeScript developer, this should be real amazing because that is going to be uh, a game changer. 
in terms of auto code fixing and repair. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. I think right now it only works with uh, JavaScript, TypeScript sort of thing. Would be great to expand it to other programming languages, especially Python, because I think in that case, I'm going to use it more heavily. But other than that, very good project. I will drop the link to its repo in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.